Hi guys, it's Chantal from Red Peach Cafe. I am back with part number two of this accordion style um, junk journal um, that we're gonna create. Okay, so this is the, co the cover, like the hinging, right, that we had done. I'm just gonna sit down so hopefully the, um, my phone doesn't shake too much. Okay, and my head doesn't go in there. Okay, the first, the next part, uh, this is completely up to you, um, but you will need your signatures. Now your signatures is the papers that you put inside. Like every accordion part is going to be a signature. So you're going to have one here, one there, one here, one there. See, you know what I mean? So we need a total of I'm just going to move some books over a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do to try to simplify things, well, does it look very simple? Not really, hey, all this paper. So we did, for this video, we're just going to talk about paper. Now, um, if you are creating this at the same time, you can pause it and go get your papers. Now, you can have it's up to you the kind of papers that you want to use now you can decide you just want copy paper just black just white paper and that's cool you know it's completely um, so this for example is a signature so you have all your papers inside right there's a variety of papers um, I just put this together real quick so I could kind of show you guys now um, like I said if you want to pause and grab some papers go ahead and do that um, otherwise I'm gonna keep I'm gonna like kind of tell you guys what I've done okay so this is our cover right now you want how many signatures do we want do we need in here we, um, let's see. we got sorry one signature that goes there right every um, okay let's open this up Every kind of spot here, right, will have a signature, except for, you know, every, these are the spines, right? Your cloth spines. So you're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six signatures, right? Do you understand where I'm going with this? <laughs> so um, that's how many, uh, you're gonna need quite a bit of papers, right? Another thing I notice, let's say you don't like these long threads, you can trim them down if you want, or you can line them up, see right here? And you can trim these pieces of fabric as well, so they're all the same length, and then clean up your threads as well if you'd like. So you could, for example, oh, I really like the threads, but I know for a fact that I'll have more threads anyways, so you could, literally I don't know, trim it like that right it cleans up the edge a bit and then they're all even your pieces whoops your pieces of fabric at the end and they'll fray like you can frame by hand if you want of course my scissors are not great they you almost have to just use the end but you don't you just don't have as much uh, string coming up or you could just tuck in the string and then cut it but just so just to give you guys an idea of how to trim so they're kind of all sort of the same length in the tops and these will fray on their own as you use it and as you fill it up okay so okay, that was kind of off topic I just noticed and I just wanted to trim those okay so um, and this will be the first uh, pocket. So your first, this will be like your cover, for example. I think that's what I was doing with this guy. Yeah. Or this one. It doesn't matter which side. You're going to, we're going to be decorating both sides. But to start, what I want to do now, I just want you to get your papers organized for this, for this part. I was thinking about like what to do next? Should we decorate the covers? Should we cover like decorate these pieces first? But I just figured sort through your papers, decide what you want, 
decide what you want to, if you want all the same kind, if you want a variety. Um, I have a little bit of, because this is uh, Tracy Fox uh, DT project, I have her printables as well. So what I've done is I have printed and then just so that it wouldn't take too long, I have already cut them and, but I'll still do some with you guys. So let's show you what it looks like. So one of our digitals, these, these are the floral ones. I think, oh my goodness, what's the name of this? See, I kind of had a whoopsie here, but that's okay. I ripped it too hard. Cause I tend to um, not cut them in half. I just use my ruler and this one wasn't folded quite properly. Anyway, so this is one piece of paper, one of our digitals. And then this is another one of our digitals that I printed like both sides. So some I printed like this, other ones I printed with a, oh, the same? with a grid, okay. And then the other one, I believe it's like, uh, almost like ledger. There's the grid again. That's the one, but maybe it's in this one. Or this one, nope. Anyways, I used a couple different types of her papers. They're like, uh, there's the other one. And this is just, that's the kind of like with the insects. So this one, this full page is actually, see there's the other type. It's kind of like a ledger background. I'll link all the, digitals that I have used or that I'm using as I go, just so you're kind of, so you know. So that's one sheet of her papers. I think this is, I want to say it's nature snippets, but I don't think that's right. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick. Sorry guys. So choose your papers. So I got a variety of papers here. So these are the digitals, right? You do not have to use digitals at all, but because I am doing, um, I'm using, uh, I'm doing this for my DT project. That's why I'm using her digitals, of course. Um, sorry, I'm just searching the name of the, The one I used yesterday. So I've printed a few uh, kinds of her digitals that I'll be using in here. Sorry guys. I will definitely link everything below anyways. She has such a great variety of digitals as well so it's quite easy to um, they work really well together as well so which is very helpful definitely is it? anyways so you don't waste all your guys this time I will be using um, some of her, from her tags, um, tag certification. Um, sorry guys. Oh right, yeah it is Nature Snippets. Is that what I said? I don't remember. Anyways, it's Nature Snippets. And she has some beautiful um, tags as well in that kit, which I will show you. But I also, what I've also done is actually printed some of her like pockets and stuff because I know it's gonna be like tall and skinny, right? So a full one, this is the full, like a bigger envelope or pocket that was part of her Nature Snippets kit. And what I've done is I've printing two to one 
sheet of paper. So that way they're smaller and they'll fit on um, like in the journal and with my collaging as well as because I will be using some of these uh, tags. I'll show you guys when I get there. Okay, so let's not move too much ahead here. But I just wanted to let you know that I printed two to one. Now these ones, I just printed one sheet and then back them up with, this is um, one of her digitals as well. It's like, um, it's like a background one. Oh, what's the name of it? I cannot remember. Anyways, it's one of her kits as well, like a background one. She's got, and I also use this one as well. It's like a tape. It's almost like a tea dyed kind of look. So anyways, so <laughs> this is one of her, this is a nature snippets. Both of them are nature snippets. The top part, one is florals. Oops, this way. And one is like bugs, which I love. One of them is kind of gonna be more, more florals. Uh, less bugs because <laughs> the person that I will be creating um, the one there's gonna be more than one just doesn't, doesn't care for bugs too much but she loves dragonflies and uh, butterflies <clears throat> now I have three of my kids at home right now because there's a couple of them that are not feeling great well they're feeling fine it's just that with the new policies through the school, they can't have a cold or anything. So if you hear them in the background, I'm sorry if it's um, disrupting. Anyways, another thing that I use in my journals in general is I really love this paper. Uh, my sweet friend Took made them for me. It's like beautiful and crunchy. So I'm going to use these because I love, love, love. I think it might be um wax paper maybe i'm not sure so anyways if you watch this took let me know <laughs> and then i've got these um they're like they're not vintage or nothing like that they're just i picked it up for like barely anything so i thought i would include them because they're almost like the perfect size um so uh, that's one so i tried to get them uh organized so that uh you wouldn't have to watch me fold and all that stuff this is a book that I've got that these are the leftovers of these images or these little books and it's a smaller well it's not like they're not huge but I love all my journals have a variety of papers they're small papers big papers um, so I like the variety so these ones are going to be one of the book pages that I will include. Another thing you could include um, is tea dyed paper, which I have two, well, I have a couple kinds. So this one is a um, red cabbage dyed paper. So you got these beautiful colors. So these beautiful blues. So I will include those. And then there's a dip, like, it was just um, cooked a little more, I think, and they're kind of like both colors, but they've got really cool markings. So that's the cabbage paper, red cabbage. So this is kind of what they look like. There's some that are lighter. So I will, I've got some already cut for that. And then some tea dyed paper as well, because I mean, how could you not include tea dyed paper? I'm just joking. Um, so these are some of my tea dyed papers that I will include and I'll show you how I went from it, a piece of paper like this to the right size, which is that size of journal is perfect because you can use a full sheet and have the right size without cutting too much. I don't like a lot of waste. And then I've got dictionary books, dictionary pages that I wanted to include as well um, I'm using up a couple of the Edith Holden papers that I've got left so um, uh, that'll be in a couple of them um, what else this book I don't know what it is 
I don't know the language, but it's so, I just love the writing and I love the color. Now, if you're gonna use an older book with beautiful markings like this, make sure that it is strong enough to be folded in half um, that it will hold up or not rip easy. Now, if you feel like you need it to be um, more secure, you can put washi tape in the middle or you could put, like I use masking tape, just to reinforce the spine. Because when you're moving, closing and opening it, you don't want it to rip if you don't have to, like if you don't have to. So be aware of older, like when you use older books, that they are, you know, a stronger paper. Sometimes the paper gets brittle. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? So just pick your papers, whatever papers you want. You can, oh, I've got this paper as well that I picked up. And I just, I don't know, I just like the color of it. It's not dyed, it's just a simple, I just like a variety of papers when I journal. So that's kind of how I create. Um, we will be decorating some of the pages. Um, but today I just wanted to kind of show you what I use. So then once you have all your kinds, I like separate them, I make a pile, right? Like I've got the different kinds that I want to use. Now, remember that your signatures, you want quite like some in there, but you don't want them too full. Okay, so for example, this one, right? I have some more uh, ledger papers too, like this somewhere that I was going to use. I didn't think about it. But I've got a couple pieces anyways in here to kind of show you. So you choose um, a variety of papers, right? So what you do, so you have the right size, is, sorry, I just thought of something. I told you I was gonna show you guys how I did it, right? I'm just gonna put this there. So you take your piece of paper, whatever piece that you want. If you need to trim the bottoms or the tops, you can do that as well. Um, let's take one of these and I'll show you how to. These ones are easy enough, this uh, dictionary. Um, I just took random sheets. I didn't go according to any writing. So you just fold them. And wow, this paper is, I've noticed that with the other one I was folding that it wasn't, I don't know if it just got printed wrong, but it's not very straight. <laughs> so we'll just kind of do that. <laughs> so this is the right size. You don't have to trim it. The piece of, of uh, book page that I chose was the right size according to uh, the journal. Same thing with this one. I just kind of just look at it to see. Now for a regular piece of paper, which would be, uh, you could use, sorry about that. You could use like regular printer paper. This is, um, so you just, this is how I do it. Completely up to you how you want to do it. Now, um, because of the size of this journal, I won't be really making pockets. I will, but with the digitals, or I'll show you different ways you can make pockets in your journal when we decorate. Um, so there you go. So I just find the middle that I already pulled and I use a ruler, like a metal ruler to, but you can definitely use uh, a cutter if you want, like a paper trimmer. And then you just do in half like that. And it's literally the perfect size for these journals. So that's cool. I, I, really, I really do enjoy the size of this journal. So every sheet of paper will give you like two, two pages, right? For your signatures. So then you would choose your different types of papers, right? So I've got one of the digitals, this guy, but instead of using both um, the yellow and the white together, I separated them. So I got this guy. So I got, that's the top, let's say, then this one. And here, these two, I'm not sure. I might put another little piece in between because I feel like, I don't know, they're too much kind of the same style. Or you could always go like this as well and put like, I just like a variety and I like them staggered. 
so they're not all like the same height. Let's go I'll put it a little higher. How about that? And then this one, I'll put a little lower, right? And then this guy, because it sounds great, will be going in there as well. There's another one of the digitals. Um, I chose to go with two. Okay, and then we got this blue. This one is the grid paper. And then this is one of the Edith Holden that I have left. And then I've got a dictionary page that I will put in there. And then I will use this one as my middle one. Now you see how they're pretty close to all the same sizes? This is why I made smaller ones, because I want a variety. Now, another thing you can do with that too is actually take like a tea dyed paper and cut it in half to have a variety of sizes, right? That's what I did with this one. Sorry, my eyes really got itchy all of a sudden. It's like an eyelash fell in there. So what I want to do maybe is go, you know, have a variety of pages. I just like different sizes. And I kind of really like uh, decorating them like that. So I'm going to take one of these because I don't think I have any in there. So that's kind of what I do with my signatures. I go through them and decide if I want, like here too, do I want to add another piece? Um, okay. I'm not too sure what happened with these guys, but we are going to put one of these in there as well. And then, this is okay. And then we have this one. So I feel like there needs, um, here, we'll put the other piece of that one in there. Or maybe a full one, because I don't think I put any tea dyed in here, right? Mm. Oh, another thing I want to use is I've got like packing, like brown paper that you get. You know when you order something in the mail and you get it's wrapped up in that, oh, that brown paper. I think I want it. I'm going to put a piece in here. So it's up to you how many um, pages you want in your signature. Now remember, the more you put, the larger your journal will become, right? Okay, 